In this video, we'll learn about Whipple's disease. Whipple's disease is caused by Prophyrema whipelli. It's a gram-positive bacteria. Uh, it enters through oral fec orofecal route, and this bacteria uh, colonizes in the small intestine. And uh, there is a defective helper one cell activity. There is a defective cell mediated immunity. So what happens is the macrophages engulf these bacteria, but they cannot kill them. So there is intracellular uh, growth or uh, division of these bacteria. And that is what leads to Whipple's disease. Okay, and there is a local inflammation in the intestine, especially in the jejunum, and that leads to villus atrophy. Because of villus atrophy, there is malabsorption. So the main uh, symptom what we see in uh, uh, Whipple's disease is malabsorption, and it is caused by a uh, microbe. Clear? It is caused by a microbe. It's a infectious disease. Remember that. Okay, it this happens in people who have a defective Th1 activity. The helper cell activity is defective in this. And uh, it mainly involves GIT leading to malabsorption. Okay, remember that. But once these uh, macrophages, if they can spread to other organs like joints, CNS, heart, uh, lymph nodes, all these organs, it can spread. So the diagnosis, what we can do is take out the uh, small intestinal biopsy and you get a PAS positive uh, macrophages in the lamina propria of small intestine when you take a biopsy. This PAS positive uh, material is nothing but the cell wall of the bacteria which are present inside the macrophages. So that's why all the macrophages will be PAS positive because they have this glycoprotein in the cell wall which stains for PAS. So this is a and also you can do another test that is your PS, uh, PCR uh, that can actually detect the T. whipelli DNA material in the sample and also sometimes if there is a neurological involvement you can do MRI or uh, CSF uh, analysis. Uh, it is mainly treated by long term antibiotics like septriaxone uh, for maybe like sometimes it requires for up to almost like uh, one year and uh, because this if it is untreated no it is highly uh, it is fatal if it is untreated but it is highly curable with if you properly diagnose this condition. So if a patient present with malabsorption uh, then you should uh, suspect this uh, T. whipelli.